What's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenn Vo, and we are live at SmileCon. And I have like an awesome guest here, and you're from Dr. Genius. Yes, Dr. Genius. It's Hunter. Hunter, welcome to the podcast. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be on here. Excited to, you know, tell people. Bit about Dr. Genius. And, and so, look, here's the thing. The first thing, we're going to jump right in, right? right? Because for me, I mean, when I, whenever I walk out of Zibbit Hall, you know, I'm all looking out of a different booth, and then I see Dr. Genius. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I, I feel like I'm kind of a genius, you know? And, 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 <laughs> Who's and so, taking that, my title? Right? And like, what's up? What's up with that? You know, speaking my name there. So, for those who don't know, for those in our, our community who don't know what Dr. Genius, what you guys do, how do you guys help us dentists? We try to make your life a little easier, allow you guys to focus that. on being a dentist. Um, you know, when it comes to being a dentist, we know you guys wear 15 different hats at once and you're trying to fumble being a business owner as well as being a dentist, taking care of the patients, being an office manager. And a lot of the times, a lot of dentists try to stretch their arms in marketing. Yeah. So it, when it comes to being in a very competitive market or even just a generally competitive market in any dental world, it's very tough to keep up with the website, the SEO, the tracking systems, making sure what you're doing is actually working. So we really take that stress off of your back, allow you to go ahead and take care of the patients, and we just continue to grow the business online. Well, you know, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna straight out just, just ask you this mm -hmm. because, you know, there's a lot of, like, do-it-yourselfers out there, right? Absolutely. You know, I mean, I, I dabble a little bit. Like, I try to fix something, and, then, and, then, and, then, and I can't fix it, and I just call the handyman. Like, forget it. I'm done, mm -hmm. right? But, you know, dentists, they're, they're a smart bunch, right? You know, you, you go to all the school and, and whatnot. But, but when it comes to trying to do it yourself, they're not too smart, right? So, again, like, for the person out there who's watching, who's listening right now, they're like, you know, he said all these things, and, yeah, you know, I know. Uh, but I just kind of do it myself. For those who come up to you and they say, you know, Hunter, uh, guy, I just do this stuff myself. Well, what do you say to them? And what do you say to them, and, 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 and why is it not – probably the best use of their time. Mm -hmm. You know, they, you went to dental school, right? You have a dental practice, right? Why is it better to, again, work with professionals such as yourself? I'm sure you hear this all the time. I do. And, you know, me being a person that likes to go out and eat, I like to explain it as, you know, building a website, doing the marketing. It's like speaking a different language. And if you were to go to a, you know, let's just say a Korean restaurant, yeah. and you went and sat down the uh, menu is in a completely different language, yeah. you're going to struggle a little bit. You know, you might be able to work your way around and say, okay, usually the appetizers are up in the top left. You know, maybe <laughs> the mains and the soups down here, they got one picture right here, so maybe I'm in the right direction. And that kind of relates back to, like, the marketing. You know, you can find a way to do it, but at the end of the day, you're going to spend 10 times the amount of time you probably want to and get half the results that you would ultimately aim I mean, for. I would say maybe 10 times the money, too, because if exactly. you really think about it, if you're spending that time – and it's like, hey, I worked on this website. Mm -hmm. It took me 30 hours of my time. Wait, hold on. Uh, if you just sat chair side and saw patients, uh, how much would you have made there? Exactly. Um, you know, you kind of do the math there. Now, again, uh, there's so many companies out there. Uh, it's funny. A lot of times people will say, hey, I'm, I'm a marketing company. too. Hey, I have my cousin Joey who mm -hmm. uh, lives in his, uh, my, in his mom's basement, and he's doing SEO from his basement there. Talk about, like, what you guys do doing is different. You know, because, again, yeah. I'm sure you get this all the time. People are like, well, I talked to this marketing company over here or my cousin Joey who lives in my mom's, uh, his yeah. mom's basement is doing the cousin, SEO. Cousin, the nephew, yeah. the brother. Yeah, yeah, that, the, the, uh, I got a friend. I got a guy. Yeah, uh, he's he, in college. He yeah. works on the computer a lot. So <laughs> exactly. He exactly. So, um, so, so what are the, you know, what, you know, what, what makes, again, for someone who's asking you that, right? Like, I like to say, you know, we have a team of professionals. You yeah. know, we've been in the industry for a little over 13 years now. So we were really one of the pioneers in dental specific marketing. We actually yeah. used to be named dental genius for probably about first eight years of being in business you know so we focus solely on the dental world and we have a team of 70 plus professionals wow. that do this day in day out you know no offense to your cousin billy that <laughs> jumps in and you know works on a computer and has a facebook page but yeah. they're just not going to be able to do the quality of work at scale yeah. and the consistency of work that we've tested time and time again making sure to go through all the pain points rolling with the punches with google because that's the other thing too is Google's always making updates. That's right. You know, unless you're staying on top of that, reading the blogs, doing the studies, making sure to do the split testing with your analytics to make sure, okay, this change that I made for all of our clients is actually going to work for everybody in these different type of markets. So, you know, we're a full-time team. 
Everything you, you just said there sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. Really, <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work. I was actually getting tired myself. I was like, man, that's a lot of work. And I'm just imagining, you know, you're a dentist, you're trying to do these things, and, and you think you're doing the right things with your website and your marketing and whatnot, but if you're not keeping up with it, that means slowly, right? Maybe you're, do, maybe you're doing really good in your practice. Yeah. And you're like, hey, I'm doing good, right? But when it comes to SEO, when it comes to marketing, if someone's not keeping up with it, it just kind of slowly trickles down, right? What are some of the things you guys do to make sure that your clients are always at the top of their game of the search and not slowly like kind of losing it's ground? A great question, because I always like to say it's truly about staying consistent. Consistency, yeah. So when it comes to it, I like to say, you know, let's think about this in the simplest terms possible. You know, you get to a point where you're like, hey, I'm doing great. I'm showing up on the first page. Yeah. You have to kind of compare that to, okay, I went to the gym. I got my, you know, peak physical shape. Yeah. I'm running every day. I'm working out. I'm staying strong. Well, if you just got to the point you wanted, then stop working out. Stop doing what's necessary. Start, eat, start eating donuts you slowly every, every, every decline, all day. You know, and there's a lot of practices and patient, you know, doctors that come to us and say, well, I was doing really great, but something happened. And I started to look into their website. They hadn't posted a blog in a year and a half. They haven't done any backlinking strategies. They haven't done what Google wants. So essentially Google starts to take the strategy of, well, you stopped caring about your website yeah. and strategy and mark, you know, campaign. Why should we, you know, so we want to be able to stay consistent. We want to be able to provide that quality of information, whether it's blogs, whether it's reviews, whether it's just overall interaction to basically tap Google on the shoulder saying, Hey, we're still working out our muscles. We still want to stay strong and be that top resource for you. That, that's a good point because again, sometimes uh, doctors are saying like, Hey, I'm, I'm already killing it guys. Mm -hmm. Like I, I got, I hired someone. I'm at like the top of the rankings. I'm good. I don't need your help. Yeah. But then I guess when you do the deep dive and say, okay, well, um, are you still doing something? No. Mm -hmm. Well, that it's like, again, like you worked so hard to get a six pack and then you start eating donuts. I'm eventually <laughs> going to lose that six pack, right? I don't care who you are. Exactly. I don't care who you are. Now, um, you know, we, we talked a lot about the website. We talk about SEO. Um, so new, uh, walk me through like a, a, a doctor come in meeting you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, how does everything start? Walk me through that process, because again, a lot of our a lot of our uh, listeners and viewers are going to come to your site, that uh, your Doctor Genius site, and they're going to look and see what you guys do. Mm -hmm. But walk me through the process. Like, how how does it work for someone who just you so, know they, they're they're interested? They reach out. Yeah. What are the first steps? Well, typically we we kind of talk about the practices goals. So they'd give yeah. me a call and they'd say you know what, I'm interested in Dr. Genius. I haven't had a great growth strategy or I'm looking to do more than what my current company is basically capable of or, hey, am I actually getting what I'm paying for? Yeah. You know, I want to kind of just make sure I'm, I'm doing the right thing. So they'll kind of call me and we'll do a little consultation. Just get a better better understanding of what yeah. the practice is. Because you only know are. what you know. Exactly. Right? I can't just go into a practice and assume that, hey, you're looking to get 20 new patients. You're only looking to focus on implants and this and that. But I really kind of figure out, okay, what's your, you know, your one-year goal, your five-year goal, your 10-year goal? Are you looking to ultimately hire an associate? Are you looking to ultimately, you know, take some of that cosmetic work yourself and then just feed the associate more business, ultimately start to phase out of this practice? Are you looking to open up a second or third location? So getting a better understanding of the practice will ultimately give us a better idea of what strategy to put forward for the business that's actually going to get you the results you're looking for. It sounds know, like that you guys have a very customized approach it's not like a cookie cutter like hey you come in here and here's a bunch of templates here's this you get this package you get this package and, and go so we do have preset packages okay but we have essentially customized those packages depending on the, the type different of types of strategies the practices are coming to us with so we have packages that are you know very general hey i just need five ten new patients maybe 15 new patients a month i just want general consistency because with every dental practice you have people leaving out the back door whether it's age whether it's moving out of the country whether it's changing in or you know moving out of the state changing insurance so i just need to be able to continue to feed the practice you know and then you have the practices that are like hey i want to hire an associate and bring on more volume expand into my third and fourth operatory and be able to you know consistently feed myself better quality in cosmetic cases as well as the associate so we have a little more aggressive package with content strategies to be able to target those specific services the doctor wants more patients of while still feeding with different content packages the general flow of the practice so we do have essentially just more aggressive packages as time goes on, um, but we do like to take the personal approach and making sure we're actually putting forward the content and we're, you know, getting information from you to make sure that this is what the practice wants and needs. So, you know, you, we talked about uh, track record. So, you know, dentists are, uh, and, and, you know, we talked before we came on, mm -hmm. is that uh, you, you, you are one of the people that dentistry just 
pulled in and we st- and you're still here. Like we pulled yeah. you in. You were in the restaurant <laughs> industry. We pulled you yeah. in and, and you've been and again you've been with the company for for six, six years. Six now. years. Yeah. Now. So I started with the support team and learned the industry, learned the business, and I jumped up into the sales group and just continued to grow. And I found a really strong liking for it because yeah. I noticed we were actually making a difference. Which and, 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 I, and I and I want to highlight that because again, if you um, you didn't like working for this company. You'd be gone by now, right? You've been oh, yeah. here for six years, you know. And, and what are some of those things? Because I think it's really important, uh, you know, as dentists, we, we always like to look at, like, someone's track record, right? Mm-hmm. Everything we do in dentistry is evidence-based. Like, hey, I'm doing this filling because somebody, like, years ago did it, and it worked. And he tested it, like, 10 times, right? Mm-hmm. He tested it 20 times. Mm-hmm. Look at, we're here at SmileCon, they have all these products and they've been, it's tested like a hundred times. Yep. The fact that you've been with uh, with this company for six years, mm-hmm. it's been in existence for 13 years. Why is that so important? And and again, I want you to answer this because you, you get clients that come from different companies mm-hmm. and it's like, maybe it's Cousin Joey or maybe it's this company that, hey, they gave some really cool swag, but they just started, right? Yep. Why is it so important that there's this track record of 13 years of in existence? working in a niche, not just doing marketing for the car wash, yeah. the sushi restaurant, but for doctors, mm-hmm. right? Why is that so important? Why is that so important when, when people you've talked to come over and they're like, yeah, I worked for this one place and they just disappeared on me? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's important just because it does provide patients with the care they deserve, yeah. you know, which is a really big thing too. And, you know, kind of you know, speaking upon what you said, where it's like, what makes you stick with the company for so long is being able to see that success story time and time again, you know, and that's really what's kept me around. And I've even said, like, before we, you know, joined on the podcast here, I like to say I have a really strong moral compass and, you know, making sure that I'm actually doing something that's working. Like, and I love that Dr. Genius has such a transparent tracking system to be able to say, okay, I know you want to see that you get results, but me as a person talking to you and kind of showing you what we do and, you know, kind of selling you on what's going to be the best strategy for the practice. I also want to make sure it's getting you what you yeah. want. So being able to see that year after year after year with our clients getting the exact results they signed on for just keeps me around. Just well, you know, me I mean, who wants to be the bad guy, right? Exactly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you, I mean, sometimes I think sometimes don't you run into some of these clients, you know, yeah. like, don't you see them around like other trade shows and yeah. stuff like that? And, and it's always hard when you're, if you're the bad guy, and you're like, oh, gosh, there's that one doctor. Hold on. Yeah, I never want to have to shy the, away from let the me, doctor. Let me, <laughs> let, me walk through the, uh, let me walk through the other way. So, again, we talked, to, we talked briefly about, um, you know, some of this. We talked about marketing. We, we mm-hmm. kind of threw out a general term, like marketing. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's get really specific, though. Let's okay. get really specific. So, again, when a doctor wants to come and work with you guys and help their level up their marketing game, mm-hmm. what exactly are you guys doing? Let's walk through all that. And, and, and maybe we can talk about some of the packages as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So kind of what we really focus on is going to be the content strategy. Um, and I always like to say in the simplest way of thinking about how do I get more patients finding me on Google? Well, a lot of the studies show that you should consider your website like your local library book. Yeah. Like, okay, this is what I'm putting forward to say this is what I know and what I'm an expert in. And so what Google is, is your local librarian. So Google's going to read through all of the different library books around you and basically say, okay, when somebody's searching for this service, what makes you special or more of an expert in order to show up into this? So that's really the big thing that Dr. Genius strides on is content marketing. You know, that's why we focus on organic marketing only. We're not a paid-per-click ad company. We don't run any paid-per-click ads because ultimately you end up spending thousands of dollars a month to get a three to 5% conversion rate, which is just a phone call. And everybody knows how the dental world works. Phone calls don't mean appointments booked or people actually showing up to the appointments. So most ad companies will end up spending, you know, 1,500, 2,000. They take 30% of that. So you only actually have 1,000 going towards the ad. And then you end up with one patient call or two patient calls. So we're by no means a push a magic button, boom, you're on the first page. But we build trust in a faster and more consistent way than any other company through the content. So I like to do a quick little comparison with the average marketing company in regards to the content they deploy on a website, which is right around like 30 to 40 pages total for a general and cosmetic dentist, as well as about 40,000 words is kind of the average. We have over 130 total pages with over wow. 250,000 words. So we're able to cover a lot more concepts of dentistry. So, you know, kind of implants as an example, because a lot of doctors want to get found for more. So we have your general dental implants page, as well as we have, what are my different options for replacing missing teeth? 
you know, what are overdentures as well as the difference between going to be like a veneer or what's going to be my different options and different things like that. So we're able to answer more questions with our content to be able to ultimately tell Google, hey, we're the experts. This is why our website deserves to organically show up at the top instead of paying to be there every month and then recycling that money. So that's really what we focus on with the website, which kind of makes us a lot different from a lot of the other marketing companies because most companies that you talk to say, all right, the first six months we're going to spend a you know a few thousand dollars on ads. <laughs> we're going to run some SEO in the background. And then six months down the line, you say, I'm not really getting results. It said, oh, well, you have a competitive market. You need to spend more yeah, on yeah, ads. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, you know, that's not really what I was wanting, but I understand because I do have a competitive market. And then they just kind of, you know, get ran through that cycle. Yeah. So we're posting more of the blogs. And that's the biggest difference between our different packages. You know, it's going to the gym, like I kind of mentioned earlier. With our silver package, it's a great foundational package, doing more of what Google wants and everything necessary to get you those consistent results. So you're going to the gym, we're doing 12 blogs every single year, which is going to just add more value, touch Google on the shoulder, say, hey, I'm still working out, still looking to stay Mm -hmm, in shape. mm -hmm. You know, the big difference with our gold package, which is the next package up, is going to be 72 blogs a year. And then of those 72 blogs, 48 of them are highly focused on one or two keywords. So we'd be able to hone in on those top tier keywords that are going to bring maybe the maybe they're really focused on implants or maybe they're all, all focused on like all on four cases exactly. or whatnot. Yeah. Even just emergency dentistry with a lot of people saying, "Hey, I'm one of the only practices open on Saturdays." So being able to have an emergency dentist ranking on the top of the first page, being open on Saturdays, I'm able to bring a lot of those patients in, show them that, "Hey, we're always here for you." Get people in the door. So whatever the practice is looking for, we have that content strategy put in forward posting the social medias, we're doing the backlinking structure, we're doing everything that Google's asking for tenfold than any other yeah. company, which really gets us that steady growth for the business. And it's like a, you know, a stock portfolio where it's just compounding interest because year after year after year, you're adding to it. Exactly. It you're only gets better it. with age. We're a fine wine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, and I, I want to point out something because a lot of times marketing companies, and, and, and you said that too, uh, you know, yeah, the pay per click ads and and some marketing some say, hey, we do everything, like we do everything, like pick, it's like a menu, pick all yep. this, and a lot of times you they do everything, but they do everything not good, right? And yeah. you guys like are focused on that. Has has any of your clients ever said, hey, will you, will you just do some paid ads for me too, or like has, all the time? <laughs> and, and, and and you guys have stay true. He's like, we're good at what we do, and we yeah. don't want to dilute everything. And, and and our whole goal is to get you to spend less and get a better return. And that's really what organic hey, is going to do that. for you. And so if we were to say, okay, well, we're going to run ads, and that just takes a lot of our resources away to a person managing your campaign and focusing on that. And then ultimately you just go, okay, well, ads is what's getting me the return on investment and things like that. But we're able to consistently show you that organic is going to pay out tenfold, yeah. especially for the practice, whether you're you know two years into dentistry, just bought your business, or you're 30 years plus, you know, it's going to work for you in regards to getting you a lower cost as well as a better return. Well, I'll, I'll say um, if you can look at it from, from this point of view. It's, uh, it can be synergistic if you're, if you're already doing like a paid campaign and, and you're killing it and you're doing good. It's synergistic, right? Because mm-hmm. naturally what's going to happen is uh, someone sees a cool ad, they click on it, they go to the website, right? Then they're not going to act right away. They might do a little research. They might like, hey, what's this? What's that? They see all this content. And then it kind of builds that social proof there. So I, I love that philosophy that you guys have. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to address, I'm going to put you on the spot now. I like it. I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to address the big elephant in the room because people who are watching this right now, listening right now, they're probably wondering. Uh, sometimes SEO is kind of like a, like a slow roll, right? Like it takes some time, right? Yeah. Now, most doctors are thinking, well, okay, if I sign up with you guys, when am I? When am I going to see some results? I'm and I expect to see and, and again, it's uh, it's it's difficult. Like just as dentists, people come to us and they're like, "Okay, um, if you do this, if I do this root canal, am I done? Is everything?" And I was like, "There's always a chance something can go wrong. It's the human body. Yep. When it comes to Google, some things some things doesn't happen. But for you know, if we're speaking general terms, if someone's coming in, they're saying, "Oh look, um, I'm like uh, not even I'm non-existent. To me, non-existent is like if you're." beyond the second page you don't exist yeah. right you don't exist right for someone coming in like that like and they're saying well when can i what can what does that look like uh, what kind of results i'm sure you get this all the time what, what what do you tell that that person who has that question right now i do have follow-up questions and there's always contingencies which is what you hear from every company of course, <laughs> but, of course. um you know it's really how much work you also put into so if you came to us and you said hey i'm on the third and fourth page i've had this website for 10 years and i've never changed anything with it and i have two reviews on google 
<laughs> and it's like, okay, we're, we're really starting from the bottom, yeah. you know? So um, it does take a few months, and that's something I'm always very transparent with the doctors I work with. The average campaign, because it takes roughly 30 days to build the new website, get that deployed. So the first 30 days is us just going through optimizing listings, making sure everything's clean and correct, all the ducks are in a row. So when we launch a new website, it's really ready for Google to crawl and index all that information at once. Once we launch the website, it takes anywhere from three to six months, depending on consistency with reviews, because reviews are kind of what ties everything together, and that's why we have a great review tool, whether it's a manual tool or an automatic send, because now we deploy all this great content. We're adding new blogs. Google's getting excited saying, well, hey, you're doing a lot better than you were before, yeah. so Google's going to start to show you to more and more people, kind of larger and larger sample sizes, but if you're not getting positive feedback it tells Google, well, maybe people are not having as good of experience here. So if you're willing to put in the work, have the front desk, get those good Google reviews, in addition to us deploying the content strategy and website, I would say average expectancy is right around three to six months after I mean, the I think that's goes live. I, I, again, I think that's reasonable. And, uh, and again, uh, I'm glad that you just laid it out there. It's, a, it's almost like a partnership, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we'll do, we'll do what we're good at. Yeah. But uh, you got to do what you're good at, right? Yeah. Like if you're like uh, just hurting everybody, you're not going to get a bunch of bad reviews. I, I don't care. Uh, it's kind of like someone who's like, hey, I want to have a six pack, but I want to eat donuts like all day long. <laughs> like you can't outwork out your diet, right? Yeah. And again, it sounds like here, it's like you can't outwork all the work you guys do. Like if you're not asking for reviews, if you're not doing probably the good service. Mm-hmm. There's nothing you guys can do. Yeah. I mean, uh, you might be able to bump them up, but, 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 but I, you just, I like to say you can at the end of the so day, much. we can get you all the phone calls in the world, but if you do the, uh, the dreaded dental office, please hold and get put on hold for 10 <laughs> minutes. You know, at the end of the day, we can't answer the phones for you. We yeah. can't convert them into appointments booked. You know, that's why you have the great front desk, but we have the ability to record all the calls coming into the practice. So you can make sure the front desk isn't doing that. So if you're getting 60 new patient calls a month and only booking two appointments, you can actually figure out what the disconnect is and say, where is this going wrong? And then you listen to a couple of calls, which I actually had a doctor call me and say, what's going on? We only had a few appointments booked last night or last month. And I'm like, doc, you had over a hundred people call in as a new patient indicating they're a new patient. So do you guys, um, do you guys track that? Exactly. Yeah. So that's the greatest thing too, is we're one of the most transparent marketing companies because we have the ability to have people press one or two when they call into the practice using a call tracking system. So if they're an existing or a new patient, they're pressing a button and it tracks into our recorded portal where they can actually go through, listen to the calls, verify their good quality calls coming in. Their front desk is answering things, offering all the patient specials. They can disposition those to where they actually see, okay, of the 60 new patient calls that came in last month, 25 of them actually booked an appointment. And then you can actually start to track that. Can can you guys track how many people came from the site? Yes. So we have Google Analytics that actually says, okay, these people came and called through the site or these people came and called through your Facebook page or clicked over to this. So we uh, we have ways to track really where all of the traffic is coming from. Majority of people are either coming from your Google profile or your website. Now, I mean, obviously that's really important, right? Because you only know what you know. So uh, I'm just curious, um, is having a discussion or a meeting with the practice owner, with the client, is that something that's in the workflow as well? Like, do do they have like... and is that like just once in a blue and once when once in a blue moon or how often is that? I, I tell every single one of my clients I don't go anywhere after our first call. You know, if you sign up for us, you have my cell phone number, my email. You so know, they can you reach out to you me. and say, hey, yeah. I'm just curious, man. I've not been getting any. Can you show yeah. me? Something? So we jump in, we do a little portal training or, you know, a full on performance review, depending on how, you know, um, how deep they want to go. But, yeah, we'll walk them through everything and kind of show them the calls. Wow. At the end of the day, due to HIPAA compliance, we can't listen to the calls. Sure. But we say, hey, why don't we do this? I'm going to mark 15 different calls on your portal. Go through and listen to them. You know, write in notes. Let's figure out what's going on. If all the notes are great, then, you know, we need to figure out what the disconnect is. But then a lot of times they'll go through, they'll listen to those 15 calls because they spend 10, 15 minutes. And once they start to do that and they figure out what's going on, it's just going to better the practice because now they're going to be able to figure out how to connect A and B and then just streamline it. Oh, well, okay. So uh, we're going to shift gears a little bit here. We shift gears a little bit here. And I want to talk about, uh, and you've been with the company for six years. Mm -hmm. So you you have enough case studies probably in your head right now. Yep. I want you to just, uh, let's go through like a a couple of uh, clients that are memorable to you. And and let's just walk them through. Talk talk to me about people who 
uh, if you can think of like a someone who had an existing site mm-hmm. and got nothing out of it, and you had to, but let's talk about one a story with that and a okay. startup client where they started with absolutely nothing. I got two great examples. Okay, should let's, I let's, say let's, names or should I keep uh, those? Uh, we we can we can say Doctor G or whatever. Okay. We'll do All this right, show. So. But, but yeah, but I want you to walk, and I want we want to hear um, like how you work with them, how you guys work with them, and, and what kind of success they had. Yeah. So first one when it comes to hey, I've already had something existing. I'm just just looking for more growth in the practice. Um, I love this one because this was right in the heart of the pandemic. Okay. You know, and this was right when practices were shutting down. Dr. Yeah. P up in Jacksonville was, you know, kind of struggling to get new patients in. And so we did a consultation. I, you know, listened to exactly what she was looking to do with the practice. And, you know, I was like, hey, this, this package is going to be best for you. So she says, I signed up on her silver package. And I told her, I was like, hey, you're not going to have the world change for you overnight, mm-hmm. but this is going to give you steady and complete growth. How long so, had she had, uh, like, that site She for? had been around for, or with that site for about three years in that oh, okay. previous company. So I like to say, you know, if you're not seeing those type of results within the first year and a half to two years, it probably isn't coming. So, so, so with that, for, again, for those who are watching right now, if you're worth with a, a company right now, mm-hmm. and you've been them with a year, and you haven't seen anything, is not magically because you know some companies will say, "Hey, the next month is the month." Yeah. Next month is the month. Yeah. It, so would you say safe to say you've been with them for a year and you haven't seen anything? Chances are th- another month's not going to change things. If you haven't seen anything, that being said, you got to make sure to get your reviews. You got to make sure to do what yeah. was asked of you. But if you're getting the reviews, if you're doing what's necessary to make sure to be able to convert all those, and you're not seeing any growth within the first year. Look into different companies. Figure <laughs> out what's going on. Um, that being said, you know, you might get something if you're in the middle of, you know, let's just say you're in the heart of Manhattan. You guys have 30 different dentists and half a mile. You might just need a more aggressive campaign. Sure. You know, sure. you might need more whether that company offers it or not. That's also something to look into of, like, why am I not seeing the growth? But most of the time, if you haven't seen any growth within the first year, look for a different ship to take you across the ocean. <laughs> um, but that's kind of what Dr. P had, uh, had done with us. You know, she was paying a company every single month, doing a little bit. And there was just a lot of corners being cut, which ultimately kept that company's costs low and what was, quote unquote, affordable. And that's what she had always said. And I'm like, well, it's not affordable if it's not getting you returned. Yeah. So we implemented our strategy, $699 a month. And she started seeing five new patients a month over the first few months, and then 10 new patients, and then 20 new patients. So she was averaging right around 30 to 40 new patient calls, converting about 30% of those in the beginning. Now she's up to about 120, 110 new patients. And where patient was she at when before she came on? Two years. She was, you mean like on the first page? No, no, no. I'm talking oh. about the, um, like when she first came to you guys mm-hmm. from that other company, what was the results she was getting from them? Is it, was, was it a big fat zero or? She, I mean, she was like, it, like they come page? few and far between. Okay. You know, so she's like, it's not that I'm completely invisible, but with the way Google works is if I'm standing in front of your door and I search for a dentist, Google's going to say, hey, dummy, turn around. You're five feet away yeah. from a dentist. You know, it uses your geo coordinates. So she would just kind of get lucky because she had a high traffic street sure. and she kind of knew that because she's like, whenever I do a search, I'm not getting found unless I'm searching wow. from basically inside the practice, which makes sense. And also, you know, how long has she been So she's with been with us for three years now. Three so, years now. Yeah, coming up on three years because she signed up right when the practice shut down. And, yeah. You know, and she kind of just came to me. She goes, hey, I'm not looking to sign up on anything. I just want more information to figure out why this isn't working. I said, hey, that's, I'm, I'm totally happy to give you what I know, you know, and walked her through everything. And, and again, at not, the end not, of the meeting, I said, hey, thank you very much for your time. Obviously, in the future, yeah. if you need me, she goes, no, we're signing up. And I go, doc, I don't really think, <laughs> you know, like, bump the brakes. I know you I just want she goes, no, this makes sense. You explained everything extremely thoroughly. Now I understand why I wasn't getting results. No, no, not to, not to um, get your cell phone to just blow up out of control or anything hey, but 714-408-0004 like, <laughs> it's my phone give me a call if you need more information a free consultation understanding of what's going on guy took I'm the words right out of my it. mouth <laughs> yeah exactly because again yeah. like um i mean there's a lot of people who are faced with this thing and they just want to talk right they yeah. just want to know what you know so uh you gave me that that was an awesome example what's the other one you said you had another so one this is a brand new startup practice and they're right in the denver colorado area so very competitive market competitive area, and yeah. you know they came to us and said we have nothing we don't have a google profile we don't have a facebook page we don't have a website um you know i've heard great things about you from a consultant we work with you know can you kind of talk us about what's going on here and so we 
talked about what's going to be best for them. We looked at the market. They had a lot more heavy competition because they were in a little more of an affluent area. And so we started to look at what everybody else was doing. And I was like, you know what? You're going to need a little more aggressive of a strategy. That being said, you're three months out, four months out before opening doors. So let's start with our silver package. And then once the practice doors open up, we're going to have to pour a little more gasoline on the fire. But there's no need to... I don't like to say waste money up front, but yeah. like there's no need to spend the extra money until you guys open your doors, you know, so let's get a foundation built and then let's start building a little castle on top of that. So right when they open the doors, they upgraded to our gold package. And then within a year and a half, they're already seeing 65 new patient wow. calls coming into the practice. Each well, month. for, for absolutely startup. Nothing. Yeah. So first few months, like I said, it's not a magic light switch, but right when they open their doors, 10 new patient calls coming in. I, I want to 25, 35, 36, 38. And then I want to point something out. I want to point something out that you said that is super important that I want everyone to pay attention to. Um, When this startup came to Hunter here and said, hey, you know, what's the strategy here? He didn't go for, hey, you need the gold package. Yeah. Like, I caught that right (laughs) away. Like, he didn't say, yeah, you need a gold package. Because this guy's he's got integrity. He's got ethics, right? He said that's the reason why he's with this company is because they, they work with integrity. No, he started with one that was conservative. He said, being mindful that they're startups and it's not like they're like have money flying out of their pockets. Yeah. Just being mindful. But when they started getting an ROI back and you're like, hey, let's just ramp it up. And now they're six weeks. So I just wanted to point that out because yeah. sometimes when you're, if we had a room full of salespeople, they would say, hey, that's counterintuitive, man. You should get the highest one. But again, get your you can, commission check. <laughs> exactly. But but you're more of the long-term relationship. And uh, again, based on what you just shared with me, it seems like most of the clients that you signed up, they, they're still with the company. They've been working with you guys for a while. Yeah. And, and that's what I really have loved about working with this company is we don't get many people that cancel, you know, because we give them the proper expectations. We thoroughly explain what they're actually getting, why it's going to work. And once they understand that, it's long-term relationship and we work a lot off referrals and you know clients coming to us and said you know what I didn't fully believe you I signed up with you because it sounded better than everybody else I've been with you for a year and a half I'm gonna send you three or four people that must be the most satisfying part of your job I love it every single time a client says I got three or four friends that need your help and you guys have been (laughs) crazy and great and leaving good reviews on Google you know it just it's just an extra layer of like hey this works we're making a difference in the dental world and you know really we're standing behind our work so you know, I know we're coming up towards the end, but, you know, I, I love to say that we're really that start and stop solution when it comes to getting your practice found by new patients. Yeah. We also do patient communication software. So reminders, recall systems, we have online scheduler features for the website. We make sure that once they come in, they're showing up to the appointments. They're calling you. They're actually quality calls coming in. After they're leaving, they get that automated review tool, sent text messages out to them so they can leave a good review on Google. So we're top of the funnel, getting everybody into the practice, showing up in the chair, and getting your great return on investment for this. Well, you right know, soon. speaking of return on investment, I'm just going to put, put you on a spot again, mm-hmm. right? Because, you know, you can't be on the Nifty Thrifty Dentist podcast <laughs> where we have cool deals and discounts and we're bringing yep. really great vendors and whatnot. You can't come on here and just walk out of here without hooking up our community um, and again, there's a lot of us that's here at SmileCon. If you are, go by and, and, and look for the Dr. Genius guys. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and again, if you have his number, shoot him a text. Yep. Uh, let's keep it professional, guys, okay? You know, <laughs> he, he, he is in a relationship. Let's keep it professional. <laughs> but, but anyways, you know, look, and they're like, hey, I want to take advantage of, like, what you guys are doing. Like, what, what, kind of, what kind of deal can you hook us up with? Yeah, so we can give you a 70% discount on the website fee. So you're getting those. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Yep. Say that one more time, Seven and we make sure that that is percent. recorded. Seven okay. zero percent. So, wow. I've uh, you know I've always been a fan of extending the special as long as we can. So I spoke with our higher ups. We want to extend the special throughout the end of the year. We know this is the busy time. We know you're trying to wrap things up there at the practice. So seventy percent discount on the website development fee. And then we're going to take care of you. You have two options with us. You always have the month-to-month option. You have the 12-month agreement. So we don't do contracts unless you want to. You know, we have a little bit of a cheaper price, obviously, when it comes to a contractual yeah. agreement because you're committing to us. We're committing to you. But 70% off the website wow. development fee. We're going to get you in. That is extended through the end of the year. You come by the booth. Maybe we can have you something special here. There at the you go. Con. There you go. But if you have any questions, call, text. That number is 714-408-0004. I'm Hunter. Hey, guys, please keep it professional. But, yeah, text them anytime. Again, I'm going to reach back out to them, and I'm going to say, hey, you know, 
did you answer everyone? Uh, and if you guys do, text them, call them. I want you guys to let us know how responsive this guy was, right? I mean, again, hey, he's putting his number out there because he really believes in it. But Hunter, thank you so much for jumping on. We appreciate, really appreciate it. it. Guys, look, you work so hard on your practice. You do all the right things in your practice. You, your patients love you. You do all the right things. But here's the thing. You know, if no one knows you exist online, then are you getting those new patients? Reach out to these guys, right? Talk to Hunter. It doesn't cost you anything to call them up, right? See, see if it works out for you guys. And if it does, take advantage of the Nifty deal. Thank you so much, Hunter. Nifty thrifty. There you go. Appreciate it. See you guys next time. Thank you.